soon, in addition to doing ride hailing in a car, you're going to be able to do it in an air taxi. Behind me is a Volocopter. It is an autonomous air taxi that will be available for ride hailing in about five years. With it, you'll be able to transfer yourself from here to here without dealing with all the traffic down here. The German company behind the drone, and that's really what it is. It's a giant drone, 18 propellers, nine batteries. They started working on this in 2013, and so far they've flown it indoors in Germany and here at CES during the Intel keynote and during an autonomous flight in Dubai. I'm sitting here in the Volocopter, and I have to say, as someone who's six foot three, there's a lot of room, especially for any sort of aircraft that space and size are an issue. If you were five foot six or even taller than me, you shouldn't have too much of a problem sitting in this drone. The Volocopter has 18 rotors. Now, those rotors are run by nine batteries. Each battery runs two rotors. So if one of the batteries dies, the rotors it's running are opposite of each other. So these two will go out, therefore not seriously impacting the flight of the aircraft. Those nine batteries will give the Volocopter a flight time of about 30 minutes, which according to the company should be enough for the average urban flight. The battery pack itself is on the back and should be able to be swapped whenever it lands in three to five minutes. Right now, they swap them manually, but in the future, they foresee robots actually swapping them. Here at CES, during the Intel keynote, they actually flew one of these on stage. Now, they're using Intel's sense and avoidance system, which is extremely important for an aircraft. Autonomous car has to be able to see everything around it, but it's almost like a 2D plane. Aircraft, on the other hand, they have to see everything, top, bottom, left, right, the whole system, an entire globe around the aircraft. And doing that in a safe manner that's a difficult problem to solve. And while the flight at the Intel keynote at CES was impressive, they've actually already flown this in Dubai autonomously using GPS waypoints. So the technology at the base level is there, but there's still a lot of work to do. Plus, there's a ton of regulations that the company will have to deal with in order to get this thing in the air. Volocopter well, expect to have human pilot trials in about 24 months. 12 months after that, autonomous trials. And in about five years, you and I will be able to get into one of these and fly across town. Stay tuned for more CES 2018 coverage from Engadget. And I'm out of here. Maybe. <laughs>